Bienvenido. Alright, um, 
How do you think shows that Little Will highlights impact the community and what architecture plans do you have for expanding your reach? Alright, pop up. Sorry. Say, say, <laughs> <laughs> um, how do you think shows like Little Bill highlights and the community? And what are future plans do you have for expanding your reach? I really feel like the both answer the question. Okay. Alright, the first question is, can I have a question? That's it. How do, what? You, how do you think shows like Little Bill highlights and the community? How do you think? Shows like Little Bill highlights. Oh, okay. Alright. How do you think Little Bill highlights shows and impact please? We literally meet real people, real problems, real difficult circumstances, but we provide real results. When you have Channel 5 and Channel 7, no disrespect to them, they are my friends. All right? but when we have the news people come to your house, say for example, your house gets burned down, and the news people come to your house, what's your name? Um, yeah, yeah. Ian. So tell me how the house burned down, and then tell me how your house burned down. That's it. That's just a news item for them. But when we come in, and you say, and I say, yeah, so we got an boy. You left our school, what happened? What was burned down? Well, Mr. Albert, I left the iron, and I never realized that I burned on the house. But we don't just listen to your story. We try to fix it or help you by providing some things. So if you start over, you could get on back with the life. So for fire victims who get the house burned down, we normally would give them clothes. All right, because we receive clothes from the states, free of cost, and we give it to the people then, free of cost. If you get, if you lose your house and you lost everything, it's the clothes. The first thing we the clothes. There was a um, last week on the news, we had lightning strike the people's house. Who see? Who see? Lightning strike the people's house, and the brother said, "I'm a sister of a new family." So you lose everything. You literally lose everything. So what we do then, we help, we give people one jump start. We can't mind you, we can't forever take care of you, but we give you one jump start so you can move on. The next question is? The next question was, um, what are the future plans you have for expanding your reach? The future plans we have is to at least establish our Lady Bill Highlights outreach in Belmopan. Why Belmopan? Because we serve this whole country. All right, we give uh, assistance to people all the way to the border, all the way to Corozal, to support, especially the villages. By the way, we have um, we have our YouTube page. I want everyone to have a phone, right? Please subscribe to the Highlights YouTube page. Little Highlights YouTube page. But on our YouTube page, you will see that we, we are all over the place. We are all over the country. And our plan is that every village we want to visit at least all the villages in Belize at least one time and then we start over again and give them so we have been to over i think over 21 villages so far since we start doing distributions erin has gone with us on several of our trips with erin the different villages and she loves the experience and we get to eat the people at food and <laughs> make new friends so it's a nice experience good Next question. Oh, we get a gift. Pop your gift. Pop your gift. Pop your gift. Again, you have a nice t-shirt. All right. Next person. Next person. My question is, what inspired you to make it a highlight, and did you think it would be as big as you are now? All right. Wait, come on, man. Take the thing out of the thing. No. Thank you, boy. What inspired me to do? What inspired you to make it a highlight? All right, Little Bill Highlights came about because I had a uh, no, long story, but I tried to put it God spoke to me in 2017 when I came back from Los Angeles. I was living in, living in Los Angeles, and I heard, like, clear, as clear like somebody talked to you, a voice says, go home, I have a job for you. I never want to go home because I did a skit. And if I go home, I know, I know I can't go back because I would have spied my visa. And when you spy the visa, you can't travel till 10 years until, until you get back another visa. So I never want to go home. But the voice of God, every day, go home, I have a job for you. You give, you give, you give, you give, you give, you give. You want a shirt, that's the God. I know you want a shirt, isn't it? Alright, you can get a shirt. 
there you go. You're welcome. Next question. Oh, time up? Oh, all right. Who oh, wants a question? Why, uh, you first, all right. Yes, sir. Uh, my name is Christian Ross, and my question is, what has been your, what has been your biggest challenge of the creation of Native Highlands? What has been my biggest challenge of the creation of Native Highlands? My biggest challenge, I would say, is that we own these people. Some of we own these people. Think negative. And why I say they think negative, they say because I have heard it, they come back to me. Some of you own beliefs and people would have said, I don't say nothing to you because you take the thing back to We give away the groceries free. We give away the tennis and the footwear free. And we don't give away a simple issue. We give away brand new tennis, name brand tennis, Nike, Clarks, you see the classic cartel symbol. We give away Clarks. <laughs> right? But everything that comes to us, we give it away free. So our challenge is, our people need to stop think negative. Because this is not my work, this is God's work. And He provides and He makes it happen. Good? Alright. Oh, your gift, your gift, your gift. You want this or you want this? What did you say? Alright, who are the shirt? Welcome, brother. Good morning. Good morning. What is your true mission in Belize by using Native Highlights? What is our true mission in Belize by using Native Highlights? Our true mission in Belize to help two Native Highlights is to help poor people. That's all. We want to help poor people. We want poor people, children, to get their education. We want poor people to have food in their house to feed their children. The question then is, how do we have to do this? The mission, the mission is to, to help change for people's lives. If you see the shirt, the shirt was said, making a difference in the lives of others. Alright? And uh, I'm open, I'm doing this one, I'm open it. I want to show you something. Alright. Oh, right. Our logo, our motto is behind our shirt. Alright, wait a second. Need a little bit of highlights. And then this one, the one says, making a difference in the lives of others. That is all that we want to do. Make a difference in the lives of others. Thank you. I went to Holy Redeemer. Time up. <laughs> one day I went to Holy Redeemer and I said, God, I said, God, if that me, if you really use me to do this work, show me a sign, God. And God kept me right next to the church. Alright, well, I don't know, I'll show you. God took me right there in the church. He said, Albert, take your phone and give it to the man behind you. When I look back behind me, there was a man behind me, he marked the church. He said, give him your phone and ask him to take a picture of you. The food got a hole and they let the feet to it. There was no hole and there was no window. When they done, I was showing the picture before. And so, that gave me the confidence to know that why yes indeed I am doing God's work my work no we are doing God's work and God provides and thank you guys for having me I enjoyed myself being here and I have one more shirt. Teacher, help me. Teacher, help me. All right. Who could get the age? Correct. Get this shirt. Yes, this time. Huh? 49? I got it. Get it correct. Cool out. All right. To everybody else, um, who could get shirts? I have stickers. I have stickers. Our team, um, Alright, so who has stickers? She's responsible. Don't beat up cheap, don't beat up me. <laughs> Bye!